Hello friends, Sam here at Ram McNally, and today we're going to talk a little bit more about advanced routing options. Let's check it out. There are several different ways to detour on the TND. From the map screen, if we pull out the turn-by-turn -turn directions, we'll go ahead and we'll take a look at our highway view. Here I'm headed from Chicago up to Madison, Wisconsin. And about 80 miles into my trip, I hear on the CB that there's been a wreck on 39, and it's not looking like it's going to be looking good anytime soon. I can select Wisconsin 39, hit detour up in the corner, and select how much of the leg I want to detour. Anywhere from two to the entire leg. We're going to go ahead the entire leg. Proceed to the highlighted route. And as you can see, Samantha's told us we can proceed, and now we're going to take I-94 up. In addition to the turn-by-turn -turn slide out, we can also use the cog wheel down here in the left-hand corner. Select Detour. And then much like the turn-by-turn -turn slide out, I've got my listed directions on the right side, which I can just give a little check to and select Detour. Or if I'm on a road and I want to get off that road for, say, the next five miles, I can just select five miles without selecting a road segment and the device will decide which way to take me. And one thing to keep in mind, folks, as well, is that when you do detour a road, if you select it on the map, you're going to want to make sure that you're actually selecting a road segment that is on your route. Because if you select a road segment that's off your route, it's going to permanently avoid that road until you remove it in the Preferences menu. All right? And we're all set to go. Let's get rolling. And these are just some of the ways to customize your route in order to route most efficiently.